While everyone was distracted by ChatGPT's meltdown this spring, Google quietly unleashed something that will fundamentally reshape our technological future. But many of you were paying attention because one of you asked me about it in the comments. It's called Alpha Evolve, and it's not just another AI model. It's an AI that creates better algorithms than human engineers, optimizes Google's own data centers, redesigns computer chips, and has already solved mathematical problems that stumped humanity for centuries. But here's what's truly wild. Alpha Evolve is now optimizing the very AI models that power Alpha Evolve itself. This isn't science fiction. This is happening today, and the implications will transform everything from software development to scientific research within the next 24 months. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first most comprehensive educational and implementation solution for work professionals and organization. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, weekly mastermind calls, the actual live coach version of Dr. McCoy, trained on Julia's best wisdom, and more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. So listen, I've spent the past week and analyzing Google's latest breakthrough that very few people are talking about, but everyone should be. So what exactly is Alpha Evolve? Straight from Google DeepMind's white paper published on May 14th, 2025, Alpha Evolve is an evolutionary coding agent that substantially enhances capabilities of state-of-the-art LLMs on highly challenging tasks, such as tackling open scientific problems or optimizing critical pieces of computational infrastructure. Here's why it's revolutionary. Unlike ChatGPT, which just generates code, Alpha Evolve creates an autonomous pipeline of LLMs whose task is to improve an algorithm by making direct changes to the code. It then continuously receives feedback from evaluators and iteratively improves the algorithm, potentially leading to new scientific and practical discoveries. The system divides work brilliantly between humans and AI. As Matthew Berman explained, humans define the what, setting evaluation criteria, and providing initial solutions, while Alpha Evolve figures out the how through an evolutionary approach. It combines two of Gemini's most powerful models, Flash for breadth of ideas and Pro for depth, creating an ensemble that can tackle problems previously thought impossible. And this is just with Gemini 2.0 models. Imagine what will happen when they upgrade to Gemini 2.5 with its superior reasoning capabilities. 18.8% on humanity's last exam compared to Claude's 8.9%. This isn't just theoretical research. Alpha Evolve has already been deployed across Google's computing ecosystem with stunning documented results. In Google's data centers, it developed a more efficient scheduling algorithm that continuously recovers 0.7% of Google's worldwide compute resources. As Matthew Berman notes, this seems small, but picture it at Google scale. It's equivalent to adding several massive data centers without building anything. For hardware design, it created a functionally equivalent simplification in the circuit design of hardware accelerators, finding optimizations in Verilog code for Google's tensor processing units, TPUs, that human engineers missed despite these chips being among the most optimized computing devices on Earth. Most impressively, as highlighted in the yellow highlighted excerpt from Google's paper, Alpha Evolve discovered a heuristic that yields an average 23% kernel speedup across all kernels over the existing expert designed heuristic and a corresponding 1% reduction in Gemini's overall training time. 
And here's what's truly wild. Alpha Evolve accelerated the flash attention kernel in Transformer models by 32.5%, outperforming teams of specialized engineers who spent months optimizing this exact code. Even better, it significantly reduced the kernel optimization time from several months of dedicated engineering effort to just days of automated experimentation. But Alpha Evolve isn't just optimizing existing systems. It's making genuine scientific discoveries that advance human knowledge. As detailed in the Google DeepMind paper, Alpha Evolve developed a search algorithm that found a procedure to multiply two 4 by 4 complex valued matrices using 48 scalar multiplications, offering the first improvement after 56 years over Strassen's algorithm in this setting. The significance of this can't be overstated. This is a fundamental mathematical breakthrough in an area that's been intensively studied for over five decades. Detailed matrices show the specific improvements across different matrix dimensions. For example, in the 3 he 4 7 dimension, Alpha Evolve reduced the required operations from 66 to 63 and for 4.4.4 matrices from 49 to 48. Even more impressively, when tested on 50 open problems across mathematical analysis, geometry, and combinatorics, Alpha Evolve rediscovered state-of-the-art solutions in 75% of cases, and in 20% of cases, it surpassed them, literally advancing the frontiers of mathematical knowledge. One example, the kissing number problem, a 300-year-old geometrical challenge about how many non-overlapping spheres can touch a common unit sphere. Alpha Evolve discovered a configuration of 593 outer spheres in 11 dimensions, establishing a new mathematical lower bound. These aren't incremental improvements. They're unprecedented breakthroughs that are expanding human knowledge. What makes Alpha Evolve truly revolutionary is the feedback loop it creates. There's the intelligence explosion scenario, where Alpha Evolve is literally accelerating the training of the LLM underpinning Alpha Evolve itself. When you look at the exponential growth in compute power, things get wild. We're currently around 10 to the power of 1 normalized to GPT-4, but the projection shows us reaching 10 to the power of 15 by 2030. That's 1 trillion times more powerful than today's models. Here's how the cycle works. 1. Alpha Evolve optimizes matrix multiplication algorithms. 2. These optimizations speed up AI training. 3. Faster training produces more powerful AI models. 4. These enhanced models power the next version of Alpha Evolve. 5. The cycle repeats, accelerating with each iteration. By continuously improving solutions based on code execution and evaluation, progress can compound, potentially reaching new breakthroughs, limited mainly by compute. This is the first real implementation of what AI researchers call recursive self-improvement the theoretical pathway to artificial general intelligence. While we're still far from AGI, Alpha Evolve represents the first concrete manifestation of this feedback cycle at scale. Alpha Evolve isn't happening in isolation. It's part of the escalating AI arms race between tech giants and specialized AI labs. While OpenAI was dealing with the fallout from ChatGPT's sycophancy disaster this spring, Google was quietly advancing capabilities that go far beyond chatbots. This reveals a fundamental difference in approach. OpenAI has focused on consumer-facing applications that generate immediate attention, while Google has been building deeper infrastructure capabilities that create lasting competitive advantages. Microsoft, through its OpenAI partnership, is now trying to catch up. Their GitHub Copilot is powerful, but represents a fundamentally different approach focused on assisting developers rather than autonomously evolving code. And what about Anthropic's Claude? 
While incredibly impressive for reasoning and conversation, it lacks the evolutionary framework and automated evaluators that make Alpha Evolve so powerful for algorithm discovery. The reality is that Google has opened up a substantial lead in a critical area. AI systems that can improve our computational infrastructure. And they've done it largely out of the spotlight. So what does this mean for the next 24 months? Based on the Google DeepMind paper and a few top analyses, I have identified three key developments we should expect. First, algorithm optimization will explode across industries. The DeepMind paper states, while Alpha Evolve is currently being applied across math and computing, its general nature means it can be applied to any problem whose solution can be described as an algorithm and automatically verified. Google is already planning an early access program for academic users and exploring broader availability. Second, the pace of AI advancement will accelerate dramatically. Look at the intelligence explosion chart again. We're at the beginning of that steep curve. When AI systems can optimize their own infrastructure, progress becomes nonlinear. We're likely to see AI training costs drop by orders of magnitude, making systems like Gemini and GPT available on much smaller compute budgets. Third, the nature of software development will fundamentally change. The human AI division shown in the architecture diagram makes this clear. Humans will focus on defining problems and evaluation criteria, the what, while evolutionary AI agents like Alpha Evolve will handle implementation, the how, as the DeepMind paper says, this approach significantly reduces the engineering time required for kernel optimization from weeks of expert effort to days of automated experiments. By 2027, I predict that over 50% of new algorithm development will be AI augmented, with human engineers focusing on problem definition rather than implementation details. What does this mean for you personally and professionally? If you're a developer or engineer, this is both an opportunity and a challenge. The value of implementation skills will decrease, while the value of problem framing and evaluation will skyrocket. The engineers who thrive will be those who can clearly define what success looks like, not just those who can write code. For businesses, Alpha Evolve style technology will create unprecedented optimization opportunities. From supply chains to marketing analytics to product design, evolutionary AI will find efficiencies humans simply cannot see. For investors, this signals a new phase in the AI revolution. The companies that control foundational algorithm discovery will have structural advantages across virtually every industry. And for everyone else, the products and services you use will become dramatically more efficient, powerful, and capable, often in ways that aren't immediately visible but create compounding benefits over time. We're standing at the beginning of a new era in computing, one where AI doesn't just assist humans, but actively advances our technological capabilities beyond what we could achieve alone. The companies and individuals who recognize this shift early will have enormous advantages in the coming years. Here's what I recommend. One, if you're in tech, start experimenting with evolutionary approaches to problem solving now, even without access to Alpha Evolve specifically. Join communities like my AI labs so you're not alone in your learning journey. Two, focus on developing skills in problem definition and evaluation. These will remain valuable even as implementation is increasingly automated. Three, stay informed about Google's AI infrastructure developments. They're often less flashy than consumer AI news, but ultimately more impactful. Want actionable help? Join my online school, the AI R&D Labs. Inside, we're not just teaching theories. We're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs.
at first movers.ai forward slash labs. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's topic. Do you see Alpha Evolve as the beginning of a new phase in AI development? Are you excited about the possibilities or concerned about the implications? Drop a comment below. And if you want to stay ahead of these rapid changes in AI and technology, hit subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive. See you down the next rabbit hole.